Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we'll be going through our AMQP adapters demo and we will see how it works with a sender and receiver. This demo is for a receiver uh, one and let's create a new integration with a HTTPS receiver so that we can call it directly from our uh, postman and see whether the message is flowing through the event mesh, right? So to configure that, we will just select HTTPS as we have done it earlier. With all the configuration and connection details you see here from the sender so that any calls coming from uh, our postman it will be received here and it will send that message to the amqp adapter and it will be stored in the queue so how to do that select select here uh, amqp and web, web socket is the option and for host and port details we will have to go through uh, the steps. We will be recording it separately for how to configure event mesh. But for now, just understand event mesh, uh, we can create an instance directly in our BTP console. We can add it as an instance subscription. I have already created it here. And for uh, to get uh, use of the queues and everything, you need a default plan. You see here, the plan is default and it is not available for the trial version. So for now, just uh, you can you can just walk. Uh, you you will not be able to follow if you are using a trial version, but if you are having a paid version, you can use a default plan and have an e instance created. Here it is already created, so I will just copy my uh, private key and all the credentials from here and put it uh, like I will use the URL URI and the protocol. So protocol and URI everything. All these details are required to make a connection successfully to the event mesh using AMQP adapter. So copy this URI. You have to paste it in the host part and remaining after the first slash, you will have to copy it and paste it in the path. Okay, so put all these details. A port will be uh, the default port. Okay, so once you provide the path, uh, 443 is the HTTPS port that, that is being used for this. And then uh, you have to use OAuth to make a connection. So how to do that is we will have to create credentials repository. So we will have to go back to the, our, uh, our integration instance and duplicate this window. We'll go to monitoring part. Scroll down to manage security, security material. We can create an artifact for these credentials. Click on new and uh, with OAuth selection, you can provide create OAuth to credentials. You can provide the name, description, token details, client ID, and the security, uh, client security. All those details you can get it from the parameters that we have seen in the event mesh. So you can copy those from here and copy it back in the credentials okay so all these details are present already here now once you copy it and store it you can click on deploy so these details will be deployed on this uh, managed security material and you can use the name whatever is been provided there in the OAuth 2 selection once this connection uh, is completed you will have to now select the destination type for us we will mention it as Q and queue is already created on my event mesh. Okay, so HTTPS request once received, it will send those messages on the destination name. So whatever destination name you will provide, it will send this message. So here the queue name is basically your destination name, which is mandatory. So the syntax will be queue colon. You, you can directly copy it from the event mesh names once it is created so you, you will see little point of time how to create queues and everything in amqp yeah so yeah so you will event you mesh will okay so if you see i have taken up this queue and directly paste it here and once you deploy these changes you have to deploy and it will start running the services so we can go to our monitoring console and see whether the service is deployed successfully and it is whether it is running or not so let's go to our duplicate uh, tab and let's go to manage events. Here you see the AMQP receiver is starting up. The integration flow is now started and change the log level to trace so that you can change the tracing level and see what is in the option, right? So here 
it is started. So now uh, let's see, uh, you will be able to send the message. So we can select raw message, select the message, provide the details. Yeah, so here, you uh, this is the message. So this is a test message that we will be publishing it. Uh, and from this, once you click from the post men send message, the message will be received and you can see in the trace how we can monitor the complete message. So you can go to end message and here is the payload. So this is a message for testing a AM Q QP receiver adapter. This message has been received here. So you see there is no pending messages. So here the one message is received on the queue. So earlier there was zero messages. Once you refresh the page, you will be able to see the message now. So here this is the event mesh console and the message has been received. Okay, so one message is received. So what, what you can do is we can directly run a consumer here to use the same message, consume that message. And you can see this is the message for testing has been published. Now let's go to uh, another integration flow quickly to send an AMQP message sender. So we will have to trigger this based on a scheduler and it will, it will be sending a message from the message queue on this integration flow, right? So integration process, you will have to click on the sender, connect it to the start and use AMQP as an AMQP sender adapter and select WebSocket as a transportation uh, protocol and connect connectivity details as we have seen in uh, a few minutes back as we have seen how to provide a host and port name and the credentials use the same method authentication or to host name and port name will be uh, your uh, what we have collected from the ma managed credentials or you can take it from the one which was present on the event mesh part right so that that you can directly copy it, for, uh, it from there. So host port and the part details will be same. Okay, Let, let's go back and, and get all these details. So it, it is similar to uh, what we have seen earlier. Click on the instance. So event mesh instance is already created. So you'll use the same instance, go on to the parameters and get all the credentials that we need so you can copy the URI and the uh, credentials. We have already created credentials so we will not create it again. We will just copy the URI again and the protocol type and everything from here and paste it in our configuration details, right? So once you have pasted all these details from here, then, then we, will, we can also use the credential name that we have created earlier. So path goes in here, port is 443 and now credential name should be our OAuth to client credential that we have created. So we can just hit on to uh, security material. We can directly recopy again. Now we have AMQP credential that was created earlier. Just copy that name. Okay, this is OAuth to client credentials type. Okay. Now use this credential name and then we can we can save this integration process in process in processing uh, part you have to provide the same queue name so whatever queue name you want to get uh, like the messages from you can provide it so this doesn't need a scheduler oh, my bad and it, uh, it it just needs a queue name which will fetch the message as soon as it is uh, received so there are other settings like number of con con concurrent processes you want to run maximum number of prefetch messages uh, in the memory, like how many messages will be uh, taken at a time, and then number of like uh, once you provide the queue name and all these details, maximum number of free tries and all, uh, it will be uh, processing the messages. So now let's go back to that message client instance on the queues. Whatever we have earlier created on the queues, we can copy this name from the queue name and let's paste it in our previous window in the under queue name. Okay, so syntax will always be Q colon the, the copied name. Okay, and save and let's deploy this application now. Okay, so here you see there are zero messages. Let's refresh it so we can confirm that there are no messages. And we have to now make a like we can use our earlier process to send a message or we can directly send a message on the queue using the, the event mesh tool itself. So let's see how we can do that. 
okay so basically like we will have to provide some message so that our service will get get it picked up before that uh, doing that we will deploy this deploy yes and let's go to the monitoring console now uh, like once we have provided all this concurrent uh, related and all the processing details let's go back to our manage integration content on that we can now see the application is starting up so integration flow is deployed and it is starting now same thing we will do now once it is started so this is our adapter uri where the adapter is actually connecting okay for consuming the uh, service uh, consuming the messages okay so this is uh, with complete queue name and everything changing the log level to trace let's do that first so that we can we can trace the messages now log log level is changed we can go back to our uh, earlier tab where we have this queue and we can directly publish a message I, either there are two parts like uh, we can use our sender service which was sending the messages on the queue but now currently it is undeployed so we can just directly uh, select the queue name in the publish message test part and you can provide a text message directly so this functionality is already given in the event mesh dashboard itself where you can test the queue queues by publishing the message directly so click on publish message and now you see there is a queue with one message pending on it it is an unacknowledged message yet so now that message should go automatically we will we'll just refresh uh, in some time and this will be message getting picked up so go to monitor message processing here you will see uh, the complete messages so now you see there is one message processed once you refresh it you will see mqp has picked up a message and it is sent to the end so click on end segment and see the message content here and the payload you will see the message you have written this this is a message for testing mqp sender adapter is now available here that means the messages successfully get it picked up